I am so pumped. I've been waiting for this party for weeks. Me too. It's gonna be so much fun. Don't you think so, Daniel? Yeah, whatever. Would it kill you to be a little bit enthusiastic? Maybe. Come on, Dan. You're totally bringing down my mood with your negative attitude. If you don't like it, I'll gladly go home. I don't even want to go to this stupid party anyway. <laughs> He's such a kidder. <clears throat> Anyways, I heard that Rick got a really cool DJ and everything for the party. Yeah, the amount of money he put into this thing, his parents are totally going to free. Wasting money into something that's already going to be a waste of time. Great. <sighs> Suddenly, I'm not that thirsty anymore. Uh, I need to use the washroom. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. Don't you people ever come up for air from those things? What are you, like 40 years old? I was just texting a friend, see? What's the big deal? You should be watching where you're going. Lucky you weren't outside crossing the street. You would've been run over by now. Well, how kind of you to worry. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Hey, I'm back. Finally. Let's get going. We're gonna be late for the party. All right, let's do this thing. Hurry up, Julie. I'm just sick and tired of waiting for you all night. All right, all right, just give me a second. <gasps> oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh, now you've done it. Can't you do anything right? Oh, I'm such a klutz. I'm really, really sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, I do like coffee, but this may be a little extreme. I'm Janice. What's your name? Well, I'm Julie. Our names both start with J. What a weird coincidence. Yeah, I guess so. Gee, I feel real bad. Uh, as a proper apology, how about you come along to the party with us? Party? No one ever invites me to parties. I'd love to come. But no way I could show my face in a big crowd like that with a stain on my shirt. Well, maybe we could stop by in my apartment and you can borrow something from me. It's the least I can do after ruining a perfectly good shirt. Julie, we're gonna be late. You guys go on without me. I'll meet you there. You sure? Yeah, of course. Go on. Whatever. You're really gonna invite this stranger over to your place? You don't even know her, Julie. Oh, come on, Chrissy. She seems harmless enough. What's the worst that could happen? Rick's gonna kill you for bringing some stranger to his party. Well, what's one extra person? It's not the end of the world. Now go on, you two. I'll take a cab or something. I'll meet you there. All right, girl. See you later. Ready to go? I'm only a couple of blocks away. Sure. Well, look at all your clothes. You're so lucky, Julie. I wish I had a closet like yours. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. Here, you can borrow this if you want. <gasps> you mean it? Yeah, sure, as long as you give it back. Oh, Julie, thank you. It's beautiful. Julie, you're so lucky. If I had a wardrobe like you, I'd be so popular. <sighs> well, that's sweet of you to say, but I'm not necessarily popular. What do you think? Oh, you look wonderful, Janice. Thank you, but I'm sure you look far better in it than I do. What's this? So pretty. Don't touch that! Yeah, sorry. It's just a very important necklace to me. It belonged to my mother before she passed away. And I'm too scared to wear it in fear that I might ruin it or lose it. So I just keep it in my closet. Oh, I'm sorry, Julie. That's okay. You didn't know. I'm sure she must have been beautiful to have made a daughter as beautiful as you. Yeah, she certainly was something. Well, anyways, are you ready to go? I sure am. I hope you don't mind, but I borrowed one of your headbands. Just another step for me to look as beautiful as you. It looks so good on you, I just couldn't resist. Well, all right. Um, we better get going. Come on. Well, I've never been to a party like this before. I'm sure you'll have a blast. Go on and mingle with some people. Make some friends. Oh, I'm sure that's easy for people like you, Julie, but I simply couldn't do that. Besides, who needs friends when I already have the best one in the world? Uh, all right. Julie, over here. Well, hi, guys. What took you so long? Sorry, I got held up a little bit. Better late than never, right? Where's Daniel? Well, I don't know where he is. He kind of wandered off after we got here. Chrissy, Aria, I'd like to introduce you to Janice. Oh, coffee girl. Nice to see you again. It's nice to meet you. I'm Chrissy. This is Aria. You look great. Hi. Yeah. She's a little shy. Would you like a drink or something, Janice? Sure. Boy, does she know how to pick them. Hey, Janice, is everything all right? Of course, Julie. Why do you ask? Well, you seemed a little bit off just there. Did they say something wrong? No. I just don't like them is all. But why? They're perfectly nice, aren't they? Those friends are not a good influence on you, Julie. You should stay away from them. Do you hear me? Just stay away from them. <sighs> I'm going to get a drink. Beard back.
<laughs> we gotta stop bumping into each other like this, Blondie. Who are you and why are you following me? Following you? Get over yourself, Blondie. I don't even know who you are. What are you doing here anyway? You don't look like the kind of person that enjoys parties. Like I said, I don't know you and you clearly don't know me. So don't try to act like you do. 10-4. Daniel! Oh, hi. What is going on here? Who is she? Who is she? I have no idea who she is. Uh, Daniel, how could you say that? I thought you loved me. Yeah, maybe in your dreams. Uh, are we done here? I'm bored. Yeah, we're done here. <laughs> Julie? Julie, what's the matter? Just leave me alone. Julie! <laughs> Julie, what's the matter? Janice. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm sorry you have to see me this way, but there's no need to apologize. What happened? My boyfriend. We just broke up. At least I think we did. I thought he loved me. I mean, he never really was the nicest person in the world, but I cared for him deeply. I guess the feeling wasn't mutual. Oh, I just hate him. I hate him. I wish I never met him. It'll be alright, Julie. If you want, I can go talk to him. No, that won't be necessary. Sorry to be such a bummer, but I'm not really in the party mood anymore. I think I'm just gonna go home. I can call and pay for your cab if you want. Oh, no, that's alright. You've already done so much for me tonight. Gosh, Julie, you're such an amazing friend. If only there was something I could do in return to show you how grateful I am. That won't be necessary. I don't expect anything in return. But I'll see you later, alright? Alright. Bye. And so we meet again. Do you mind? I'm on the phone. <sighs> when aren't you? What's your problem? Why are you always bugging me? Because you make it so easy. <sighs> Leave me alone, skater boy. I need to call a cab. Do you know how busy it is around here on a Saturday night? You'll be lucky to get a response, let alone an actual ride home. Well, that's just perfect. <sighs> Tonight is just not my night, is it? I can give you a lift if you want. Oh yeah, totally. The guy that's been insulting me all night? I'll just get a ride home with him. Not. Fine, you can walk home for all I care. Wait. I'm sorry. I really do need a ride home, if you'd be so kind. Sure, my car's just this way. You're a terrible kisser. Whatever, are we doing this or not? I need a few more drinks first, I'm so not prepared. Hello? Chill out, okay? I got your drinks. Hello? <sighs> Crazy broad. Yoo-hoo! Oh, Jesus. Who are you? How'd you get in here? I'm Janice, Julie's best friend. Like I care? Get out of here. It wasn't nice what you did to Julie. She's totally heartbroken. Whatever. Like I care, honestly. She had to go. She was a constant headache. Funny you should mention that. What do you think you're doing? Put that thing away, now! Are you out of your mind? You have no idea. Forget it, Daniel. I have to get home now. I have work tomorrow morning. Didn't you hear me? I said quit it. You're definitely not worth losing my job over, that's for sure. What about losing your life over? <gasps> no one messes with my best friend and gets away with it. I really appreciate you giving me a ride home. I still haven't caught your name. It's Jake. I'm Julie. Nice to meet you. I should get inside now. See you around, Jake. Hello? Who's there? Is someone there? Julie, you must be hearing things. <sighs> Good morning! Ah! Ah, Janice, what are you doing in my room? The door was unlocked and I wanted to surprise you, silly. The door was unlocked? That's weird, I don't remember not locking it. Well, anyways, we have a big day ahead of us, bestie. Plan the whole day for us. First, we're gonna go get many petties, and then we're gonna go to the mall and shop for new outfits, and then we're gonna have another fun sleepover together. Doesn't that sound so much fun? 
Listen, Janice, you seem like a really nice girl, but I literally just met you yesterday. We don't really know each other that well to consider each other best friends. Being best friends takes time, kind of like a relationship. What do you know about relationships? Oh, I'm sorry, Julie. I didn't mean to snap at you. I have a really bad temper. My apologies. It's fine. Can I have some privacy to get dressed and stuff? Sure. Just as long as you promise our fun day together. Janice, it sounds like a lot of fun and I appreciate the effort you put into it, but I made plans with Arya and Chrissy. I'm sorry. Maybe another time, alright? Julie, I thought I told you they were a bad influence on you. I don't know what gave you that idea, but Chrissy and Arya are great friends. I love them a lot. I've known them since elementary school. Now, can you please leave? Fine. But only if I can borrow an outfit. I didn't bring a change of clothes, and I still have your dress from yesterday. Fine. Pick whatever you want. Just please hurry up and leave. I need to get dressed and get going. Alright, I see how it is. I know when I'm not wanted. Janice, that's not what I mean. It's fine. I'll see you later, Julie. <sighs> 11 a.m.? Oh my god, I'm gonna be late! My mom's necklace. Where is it? I don't have time to worry about it right now. Probably fell in the closet somewhere. Uh, Julie, what happened last night? Oh, me and Daniel got in a fight. He broke up with me. Girl, I told you from day one, he's bad news. Good riddance, honestly. You deserve so much better. I guess so. No need to worry, Jewel. I totally saw you leaving the party last night with that hot skater boy, Jake. She hopped in his car and rode off with him. Who knows what they got out to that night. Ugh, don't be gross. He just drove me home is all. I don't even know the guy. Well, there's no way he could be worse than Daniel. That guy was a total stick in the mud. I don't know what you saw in him, Julie. No offense. Daniel never was the kindest guy ever, but I didn't expect him to stab me in the back like that. Well, enough about him. How about your new bestie that you met last night? Oh, don't even get me started. I don't know what her damage is, but she's totally freaking me out. Did you know she woke up in my bed this morning? Oh my gosh, Julie, I didn't know you got down like that. Oh, shut up, you idiot. That's not what I mean. She was following me around last night like a lost puppy or something, and she snuck into my apartment? I don't know how. I thought I left the door unlocked, but apparently I didn't. Whatever. She's so weird. Well, why don't you tell her to get lost or something? Oh, I couldn't do that to her. That'd be so rude. So what, you're gonna have your little bestie follow you around all the time? Looks like we have a bit of competition, Chrissy. You guys are no help at all. Look, speak of the devil. Hi, Julie. Is that my dress? Well, yes. You said I could pick up whatever I wanted from your closet, right? I guess I did. I can only dream of looking as nice as you in these pretty clothes. Hopefully I do them some sort of justice. Is that my mom's necklace? Well, Yes. I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to look as pretty as you, Julie. Of course I mind, Janice. Did I not tell you how important this necklace is to me? Well, you did, but... I told you it was off limits. Why didn't you listen? Gee, Julie, I'm real sorry. Just leave me alone, please. Just go away. Julie, please don't be upset at me. I think it's time that you go, Janice. <sighs> fine. You are right, Jewel? I'm fine, I guess. I'm just glad I never have to see her again. I hope you're at least feeling a little better today, Julie. Yeah, I guess I feel slightly better. After last night and this afternoon and this morning, a chill afternoon with my girls is definitely what I needed. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs> Sorry, Arya. Julie deserves better friends than you. Hello? Hey, Chrissy. Oh, hey, Julie. What's up? I'm just at home. Same. Hey, have you heard from Arya? I've been calling her all night. No response. No, haven't heard from her. Weird. It's not like her. Hey, wanna come over? Can't. Have to study for the test this Friday. Ugh, lame. I'm totally bored. My parents went out of town for the night. But at least I'm alone. I get to do whatever I want, right? Totally. It's just nice to be on your own once in a while. So how's it going with that cute skater boy? You mean the guy with the attitude? It's not going at all. Oh, whatever. He may have a bit of an attitude, but he's so hot. A far cry from Daniel, that's for sure. Chrissy, what was that? Chrissy? Who is it? Mom? Dad? Who's there? Chrissy, what's going on over there? Answer me, please.
Chrissy. Don't you worry about it, Julie. I've taken care of your toxic friends. Now, you only have me. That's all you'll ever need. I'll be coming over shortly, bestie. Pop out the champagne. It's time to celebrate. Time to celebrate the rest of eternity together. Oh my god. I have to get out of here. Oh, Jake, you gotta help me. I'm totally freaking out. Oh yeah, sure. Come on in. It's Janice. She's coming after me. Who? I don't know, this psycho chick I met yesterday. I just received a phone call from her. She said she took care of my toxic friends and she was coming over to my place to celebrate. So I had to get out of there. So some crazy chick is after you and you come over to my place? Thanks a lot. I'm not fooling around, Jake. I couldn't face her on my own. I have to have someone to help me. I need your help. Please? All right, I'll help you, I guess. Uh, thank you. Gross. Julie, open up. I know you're in there. You can run, but you cannot hide. That's her. She's here. Just stand back. I'll take care of it. Go into the kitchen and get a knife or something for protection. Julie, why are you ignoring me? That's not what best friends do. You're not my best friend and you never will be. Just leave me alone. You want to play the hard way? Fine. We'll play the hard way. <laughs> Janice! It's not nice to ignore your friends, Julie. You really hurt my feelings. I think it's time I taught you a lesson. Ugh! Please, just leave me alone. What do you want from me? I just want us to be best friends until the end, Julie. Why can't you see that? But why me? For God's sakes, I don't even know you. You were the only person that's ever been nice to me, Julie. You are the only person that showed me kindness. Of course I'd want you as a best friend. Don't you see? We were destined to meet that day at the coffee shop. It was destiny that we become best friends. You're crazy if you think I'm going to be best friends with you after you killed my friends! Oh, they had to go. They were a bad influence on you. But don't worry. I'm the only friend you need, Julie. You don't need to worry about anyone else ever again. I'll protect you from now on. Just leave her alone, or I'll call the police. Call the police all you want, lover boy. I cut the phone line. Ugh! You crazy broad. You won't get away with this. Somebody's been a naughty boy. Julie deserves better than you. Leave now. Never come back. And we won't hurt you. Stupid boy. You're not the one giving orders around here. If you surrender, we can get you some help. Something's clearly wrong with you. Nothing's wrong with me. Something's definitely wrong with you. And I'm not gonna let you be around my best friend any longer. <laughs> Stop it! Don't resist me! You must die! Ugh! Julie, do something! Julie, you wouldn't hurt me, would you? And you certainly wouldn't hurt me over a guy, would you? We're best friends. Sisters before misters, right? Go to hell. Julie, no! Julie, please don't do this. We're supposed to be best friends until the end. This is the end, friend. <laughs> I suppose some friendships must come to an end. Thank God you're still alive. Are you alright? I'm alright now. Who needs friends anyway? Thank you, Jake. I don't know how I could have defeated her without you. It's what I do. Don't tell me you're putting me in the friend zone, Blondie. No, somehow I think we're going to be much more than that.